Hello, welcome to part three of the camper van conversion. This, this video is concentrating on the flooring. Initially, I was going to leave the original vinyl ply floor down as it looked in good condition. And um, so I'd started off with the rust treatment on the arches um, with the floor as it was and um, did the usual treatments with the hematite and then started to put the dodo on and uh, got as far as um, completing the wheel arches when I realised that the flooring had been um, applied to the van using screws directly through the base of the van. So I decided to take the flooring up, which as you can see is not very uh, good condition anyway, so I was glad I did that. Underneath it wasn't too bad, but I did find quite a lot of uh, rusty little bits and pieces which I had to treat in the usual way. Um, and then I had to f basically sort out the screw holes. To do this I actually used a pop rivet gun which I, I dipped the pop rivet uh, pop rivet into the hematite uh, paint before I applied it so that would seal it nicely and prevent rush proofing. The larger holes, four holes there, I had to use epoxy, two part epoxy which I then uh, placed over the holes and then tapped it up from underneath to, to spread it out to make it uh, um, sealed. Um, other places are just I mean, minor rust treatment um, and it wasn't uh, as bad as I thought but here is the pop gun riveter being used to actually seal some of the drill holes. When that was finished it then got a really good clean, nice and sparkly and I was ready then to think about what, how to lay the floor. Um, there are various options but I wanted maximum headroom so I didn't want to do the standard thing of putting battens across. I looked at the ribbing and there's about seven different widths of um, of rib, uh, so they're symmetrical around the center, but seven different widths, and so not very helpful. Um, and so I had to then decide what material to use inside the channels. Initially, I thought Celotex was the option, but it's 10 millimeters and the ribs are nine millimeters high, so it was a much better a solution to use. The existing, um, some existing nine millimeter ply which I had from the side panels, with the chamfered edges, so it would fit nicely between the ribs and provide a very good solid platform. Before I could start that, I had to put hor um, horizontal uh, pieces in, to, in where the gaps were, and that allowed me then to have a um, a series of uh, ribs to fill. And um, I set about chopping up the side panel to get the necessary number of ribs, putting the chamfer in and then um, gluing them down. So having put the horizontal strips in I then proceeded to cut the lengthwise strips um, and to put the uh, angle on the bevel on the sides I used a bandsaw as you can see but in hindsight I should have got a special uh, router attachment to do that, it would have been a much more uh, neater job. Um, however, that did allow me to proceed with them filling the uh, gaps. As you see, I had to stick them down, and it was quite a slow process, uh, doing based on how many weights I could muster. Um, but eventually, uh, of course, I had covered most of the main area, and then proceeded to do um, the fiddly bits on the side which all required special cut out pieces so it's not something uh, that is a quick job and probably added two weeks to the whole process but at the end of the day as I say the whole uh, floor level then was was level um, and it meant that uh, I hadn't raised the floor at all and uh, so it was worth the effort from my point of view I covered that with multi-wear deadening it's a kind of uh, sticky back foam stuff, uh, only about uh, five mil thick, and then uh, um, prior to that I'd, I'd actually painted it to make a good surface for the uh, adhesive and uh, make it all nice and um, rust proof. So the deadening went on to that and uh, then uh, I did that myself but then I ordered some vinyl and had someone come and fit the vinyl uh, surface on top of the deadener. So that added another couple of mil, but as you see, it's a nice professional job, um, and he obviously did a good job 
being a professional <laughs> and uh, better than I could have done it so that was game worth the extra expense so all in all the floor was quite a long-winded and uh, quite expensive uh, uh, operation to complete